My name is Walter Koch. I'm the director of Systems Biology Ireland. And I would like to share a really exciting story with you today. Something what we have published recently in a paper, which is about cell signaling. And cell signaling has nothing to do with mobiles. It's actually communication mechanisms within our bodies and within our cells. And if these mechanisms go wrong, the consequence is that we get disease. And these are diseases like cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's. So this is really very serious diseases. And what we are studying in my lab and in my group in the Systems Biology Ireland is really trying to figure out how these networks are manipulated by disease to go wrong and convey the wrong signals and what we can do to put them right. And what we have published in this paper is actually a mechanism where we found out how the same network can make a cell grow or die. So the same network makes the decision between two completely op opposite events. And we also, I think, with this paper, and this is the really exciting part, have started figuring out how we can influence this process. So this means we can go about influencing disease like cancer using that mechanism. My name is Lan Quyen Nguyen. I uh, work in Professor Boris Kolodenko Group um, in System Biology Island. The main aims of our study is to understand how cells in our body make completely opposing decisions like to live or to die using exactly the same molecular apparatus, in this case the same protein network. So the system we looked at plays an important role in cancer, which is the HIPPO and the MAPK signaling pathways. The HIPPO pathway is known to control how cells die and the MAPK pathway is known to control how cells divide and multiply. Um, we use a system biology approach combining uh, experimentation and uh, mathematical modeling to conduct this study. So we set up a molecular map of the network using the data from uh, our labs and others that is pretty much similar to setting up a Google map of a city where the city's buildings represent the proteins and the streets connecting the buildings represent the connection between the proteins. Uh, this allowed us to zoom in and zoom out of the network at different levels of detail. The molecules in, in the cells also follow the rules of, of physics and mathematics. We were able to translate this molecular map into a, a, a mathematical map. And after putting this into the computer, we uh, were able to simulate different scenarios and predict the outcomes even before setting foot in the laboratory. So the prediction from the computer simulation allowed us to generate new hypotheses which we could not form uh, using just an experimental approach. And these hypotheses were then tested in the lab, uh, which allowed us to identify the molecular mechanisms that govern the HIPPO MAPK signaling network. My name is Caroline Doherty and I'm a PhD student in Walter Kulch's lab at SBI. From Land's mathematical model, we then go to the lab to test further unknowns. So this is, if you imagine, we have our Google Maps view of our, our network. We then want to delve further into detail uh, and explore the street view. So the major findings of this study were that we were able to describe the molecular mechanisms that the cell uses to switch between the decision to live and the decision to die. Uh, this life or death scenario is coordinated by two things. Number one, uh, competing protein-protein interactions, and that determines the availability of proteins in the network. And number two, uh, protein binding affinity, and that determines how strongly these proteins bind together. Uh, and these things coordinate uh, these opposing outcomes. Importantly, these interaction switches are common in other pathways, so that means that we can use this mathematical model and apply it to other systems and other diseases.